Okay, so now that season 13 is actually here, we need to look deeper into the top five weapons in Apex Legends. If you guys remember in season 12, we had the R301 as one of the top five weapons in the game. Fast forward, now it's in the replicator. Hey yo, what the f What are we doing here? So with that being said, let's get into the top five weapons that you should be using in Apex Legends season 13. Seriously, if you don't use these, you're trash. I'm kidding. So as we did with their season 12 video, the weapons we're discussing today are ground loot only. So even though they've added the Mastiff to the care package and it hits like a Mack truck, that's not on the table. We're here to discuss the weapons that you could just pick up on the ground and jump straight into a fight. Now feel free to mix and match these weapons to your own likings today. You could use them together or carry one as your main and just have a few options as a secondary weapon. Unless you're choosing the charge rifle as your secondary, then we got bigger problems here. I will send you to Jesus. Season 13. I'm feeling generous today. So we're gonna give away 1,000 Apex coins to one of you lucky individuals. All you gotta do is make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on and yeah, we could check that out. And simply comment down below your favorite weapon in Apex Legends season 13. And that's it, you're entered. But make sure you guys are in the Discord that's linked in the description so that way I can contact you and give you your code if you win the 1,000 Apex coins. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, I, it's still a beast. The wingman is, is still insane in season 13. It's hard to imagine a scenario with this weapon not being on any top five list in Apex Legends. They would have to make sure that this thing is literally nerfed into the ground. The wingman is always gonna hold a, a close top five in my heart. I don't know about you guys and gals. It does take a lot of skill to use depending if you're on a controller or not. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Chat, I'm kidding, relax. But the wingman will just forever be that one weapon that as long as it stays pretty consistent, I will forever love. And I think a lot of players will too. So I think it's hard to not suggest. With the wingman having high damage and not needing a ton of ammo, it's a weapon we strongly recommend learning and carrying with you at all times, especially if you do want to improve at your accuracy and overall skill at the game. One thing I definitely would suggest is come into firing range and test this bad boy out to dial it in and get used to using it. A lot of people are intimidated with the wingman, but to be completely honest, there's really no reason to be. This thing cracks. This was a tough decision when it comes to shotguns because I feel like you always have to have a shotgun on the top five and like yeah the Mastiff is crazy right now but again that's a care package weapon so you can't just like come across it on the ground ladies and gentlemen for the top five weapons of season 13 the shotgun spot has to be the Mozen <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, the shotgun spot for me has to go into the EVA A. I don't know why a lot of people aren't using this more. The PK does slap. I think the PK with all of its attachments is super OP, but across the board, what I've been noticing so far, just in the season of 13, I come across a lot more EVA 8s and Honestly, I feel like it just it just works overall better straight off the ground. When we're talking top five weapons, I'm not talking kitted out like you found a turbocharger and all these other things. I'm talking just straight shotgun right off the rip. I feel like the rate of fire with the EVA 8, for me, it's been the best shotgun so far. The automatic shotgun, yes, for those of you who didn't know, you don't have to tap fire it, it is automatic. Might just be the best shotgun in season 13. Also, it feels like this shotgun has a bit more accuracy when hip firing. And it's still, honestly, like a lot of people don't realize it's a demon at range. You can really get that last tap on somebody. Like they're, they've got the 1%, that one slither of health on that Wraith main and you can just, from range, just get a nice little shot on her, you know what I'm saying? Other shotguns on the ground just simply aren't connecting like the EVA 8 is right now in season 13, which earns it the spot on my top five list, personally. Let's get into the third weapon this season. I don't think this is any surprise, the, the Spitfire, hands down. Now, I do know that a lot of people are gonna say the Havoc or the, the, the Devo, but you gotta understand, again, we're talking straight off the ground, like meaning the Spitfire without any attachments, just like off the riff, picking it up right on the ground, Dude, this thing is incredible. I have to, I have to put the Spitfire over the Havoc and the Devo because of that simple fact right there. 
It's not to say that the Havoc and Devo is bad in Apex Legends Season 13, but it's just pointing out the fact that with the Spitfire, you can pick it up straight off the ground and it absolutely shreds. It's amazing for that close range. It's good for distance. And again, this is without attachments. It, this Honestly, I feel like this thing should be nerfed if I'm being completely transparent. So the Spitfire has not only returned on ground loot in Season 13, but it has also made its way back onto the top five list for Apex Legends. Even though the Spitfire and all LMGs for that matter received a nerf in season 13 with increases in reload time, more spread with hip firing and the removal of barrel attachments, the Spitfire just still slaps. Honestly, this weapon doesn't feel any different from what it did back when it was just ground loot in the previous seasons. Like, I don't even feel the nerf. I don't know about you guys, maybe that's just me. Big downside to this is it does take a lot of ammo. So I wouldn't suggest an entire team, a tired trio, to be running Spitfires because you guys are gonna run out of heavy ammo quick. But like, honestly, if I'm in a team of three and we're all playing together, especially like higher ranked gameplay, I really do like when one of the teammates has a Spitfire on the team because it just shreds at close and long range. On top of that too, if you are a Rampart, th this thing is OP. And guys, at the end of the day, none of these weapons matter if you don't like, comment, and subscribe to the channel here. A benefit to this is being notified of any Apex Legends content moving forward. If you don't do this, I heard it will make you trash at this game. So I would highly recommend doing those few things. You guys don't wanna be trash at the game, right? So we have that like long range, like shot destroyer, the wingman. And then we have a good shotgun for good close and mid range. And then we have a, an insane LMG for that like, like all fights to be completely honest. Where's the SMG? Okay, but let's, let's get into an SMG. Now this in my opinion is the most versatile weapon in Apex Legends currently right now, especially in season 13. And that is of course the car SMG. You guys knew that I was gonna pick it. I think this is one of the nastiest combos that you can have in your loadout in Apex Legends, period. Whether you have heavy ammo or light ammo, you can use it. If you run out of ammo with the main gun that you are using, you can just swap to that ammo as well. To me, the car continues to be a great weapon to carry because not only is it good for these, let me get some attack, here. I also love this too. The fact that you could have multiple attachments on this, they kind of went OP with that, honestly, if, if you ask me. One of the one of the great things about this is having that close range fight. Like this thing absolutely shreds on close range, but it honestly does a lot of work at range. Like that was one clip at a decent distant right there, being able to just completely shred one person on one clip. Think about that. One gun that uses multiple ammo types, multiple attachments, so you never have to keep searching for just the one specific one, so you can use it with your primary. On top of that, it's good for close range, it's good for that get in your face gritty hit fire, and you can do solid damage at long range with it. This gun is 100%. 100% one of the best guns in Apex Legends, period. It can make for a great primary because of the medium range accuracy paired with the secondary, like an EVA 8 or a wingman. And it gives you options just in case you get close and do a lot of damage. This is just the top five. And if you don't like that top five, you can go make your own top five. Sound good, chat? Bokek is goaded, get out. And that leads us to our, our last weapon on the top five weapons that you all should be using on Apex Legends in season 13. And that weapon has to be, drum roll please. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. The flat line. I said it. You know, I get a lot of flack about this. A lot of people are like, I walk past the Spitfire and they'll be like, Big E, there's a Spitfire there. And I'll say, yeah, but there's a flatline right over here. There's something about the flatline that I just love. Uh, obviously, again, I would love for a little R301, but once you control your recoil and aim with the flatline, this thing absolutely destroys. And if you disagree with that, you, are, statistically speaking, are probably just really bad at Apex Legends. I don't make the rules, by the way. I just enforce them. I'm just here to let you know. Right now, when you're talking AR, the flatline has to be the best AR in Apex Legends. And honestly, nine times out of 10, I would much rather have this or potentially a wingman in my setup over any other gun right now. 
And I, as you guys know, we got a lot of heavy weapons, so it is hard to, to pick. But your baby is back on the ground. And that's why this obviously goes over the R301, because right now you have to craft the R301. It's so stupid, so silly. Can we get some L's in the chat for that? If you guys don't remember also, the reason why this wasn't in season 12 top five gun list is because it was in the replicator last season. But if you pair this thing with something like the wingman, for example, oh my God, will this shred? Having the ability to have a hip fire jiggles and still have long range sprays, with the flatline, I think, is what makes it really stand out compared to a lot of other weapons. Like, personally, if I'm talking close range, I'd rather have a flatline over a Spitfire because I, I feel like I have more control at hip fire at close range. On top of that, personally, too, I feel like I have more control at even range with the flatline over the Spitfire as well. And when you pair it with something like the Wingman, where you could use the same ammo type, on top of that, you don't have to have a lot of ammo for the Wingman, as you see here. Like, you got four stacks with the Wingman or flatline or or two stacks of heavy with a flatline and a car SMG, and, and you guys will be fine on ammo because of either A, the wingman not needing to take that much ammo, or B, the car having the ability to use other ammo options. Personally, for me, that's one thing that I've been struggling with this season is the fact that I never get to find ammo. So I am picking the top five weapons this season based on the reality of how ammo will play out in the game. The last thing I want to stack together is this right here, a Spitfire flat. Line? Dude, I'm I'm going through ammo quick on this guy right here. <laughs> this you you might as well say goodbye to all the heavy ammo in the entire lobby because these two weapons combined are gonna soak it all up. But uh, overall, you can mix and match the top five weapons that we talked about today, and they will work out for you. And I'm I'm telling you right now, if you guys focus with these weapons in season 13, if you feel like one of these weapons, like you're not typically good at if you take the time come into firing range actually use them in the game you will perform better not only with those weapons but overall in the game because these are just really good weapons to get good at as well like instead like i encourage somebody instead of you saying that the recoil with the the flat line is really bad or weird for you i encourage you to figure out how to actually use the recoil and your advantage in favor to actually utilize it in the game because once you do it is in fact insane